Welcome back to SQC. Tonight, we are exploring and investigating the abandoned Dairy Crest factory. A creamery has stood here since 1874. By 1932, the site expanded under the ownership of the Cowan Gate Company. By the mid-70s, this site was run by Dairy Crest, which was the processing part of the Milk Marketing Board. This once thriving creamery has been abandoned since the early 90s following a damaging fire in the drying plant. It is unknown if anyone has been injured or killed here. But what we have experienced here before makes us believe there's something paranormal here at the factory. We began in one of the outbuildings. So, when we were here last time, we captured some like really weird lights down there. We were kind of stood up here. And then as you can see, there's like a garage door right down the bottom there. Um, and there was just, like really strange lights coming from the bottom of it. And on the other side of that garage door is a brick wall. So we're really not sure what the hell happened there, but you know. Um, also we caught these really cool photos. Um, so we took a couple. One of them had some really strange white lights, like streaks across it, which we, we couldn't like debunk as like dust or anything because we took a couple more photos and they weren't there. So, yeah, I mean, we really don't know what, we don't really know what that was, so. We later moved on to the second outbuilding, which has been extremely vandalized. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This place is so much more trash than before. Just go in. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's absolutely trash. Oh my fucking god. No, they're not there. They're not there. Even if I see them through the window. Jesus, what the hell happened here? Well, we need to get to the other end. Things we don't know. No I mean, that's the guy's place, and it is absolutely trashed to bits. Doesn't use no more. It's like, what is that? Oh. Right, yeah, we need to keep moving. If we're gonna go, stay in here. It's fine, I can't hear anything. Right, so someone's going to have to close the door quietly. Smashed upstairs. You just need to be careful, just because I mean, they've smashed up the roof. They smashed up everything. We don't know how like secure yeah. that is. Yeah, they've taken up the floor. There's literally just bits falling down. Should we go on a weapon? Because I just. Unfortunately, this building was too dangerous for us to carry on any further. We decided to move on to the third outbuilding, where we believe negative spirits to reside. It is known that this building has a basement, and the basement has become flooded. This could be connected to what we later see in this area, especially seeing as entities are connected to areas of water. The next room we went into had an upside down pentagram with numbers around it, spray painted onto the floor. Could there have been satanic rituals performed here? It says here it's five degrees outside, but not in here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's well quite cold. It's much longer to watch ahead. So for 
Is anyone here? Could you set the machine off? That's upside down. No, is it? Yeah, it is. Look. Mm -hmm. That is upside down. So if there's anyone here, could you please turn the machine on? By making a beat. Have you got EVP on? Yeah. yeah. Well, Is anyone here? We're currently doing an EVP as well. Um, if you're here, make yourselves known to us. And we've got the uh, we've got the EMF on the upside down pentagram. Use this device in the middle of this symbol, or this device in Jamie's hand to communicate with us. You can show yourself on camera. So if you could set this machine off by making a beep. Or making the temperature go up or down. Yeah, start heading towards upstairs. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I think we should wait here a little bit longer because this is going to be the main area. This is going to be the main area. I mean, that's the that outside. Yeah, it's because of the letters. That is definitely an upside down. What the fuck? What? I just like, so put your torch down. My torch is like here. Yeah. You see the furthest pillar? Sorry, so you've got three pillars? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? That last pillar just went. I couldn't see it. It just it went and then it came back again. Like something walked in front of it. But the entire thing. It was just black. Black? It was, yeah, it was Are black. You Put your torch down. Right, so my torch, I'm trying to get on camera. So I'm trying to say that. So that oh, third no. column back in the background there, yeah. it just. It was just black. Did you I'm just not joking, 100% like, hand on heart. Did you just walk in front of the pillar? If you did, maybe we should walk down to it. Maybe we should get out. We make our way down to the pillar where we saw the black mass. Just to let you know, I saw you. You were right in front of that pillar over there. Can you confirm to us and let the others know that you are here, that you exist? This is your one chance to let us know that you exist and hear your story and why you're here. What are you? Oh, it's cold back here. It is really cold. Where's it's the temperature? Cold right here. 12. Yeah, it's this. So currently on this, they're saying it's too bright. 12 um, in temperature and it's actually really cold. So I mean, it, we were in here a minute ago and it was, what, 15 or above? Yeah, it was 15 and it's gone down. I'd, it's going down and it's cold. Like, it's like okay, shivering it's cold. It's going down now. It's gone to four, now three. If anyone's here, can you talk to us through this device in Jamie's hand? We are not here to disturb you. We're not here. We are only here peacefully. So, please, we would like to contact you. Contact you. So yeah, what I saw was just absolutely insane. It was just a black, I don't know what. It... I have not turned that off at all. So we've just... Just, we literally just walked to the area where I saw this figure. It was I literally stood in front of this pillar. It is freezing off. cold and our EMF meter just turned yeah. off. So this is where we saw the figure. So it's stand here? And I basically put the EMF right here. I looked at it and it turned off. If there is anyone here, con please contact us through this device. We want to speak to you. And turn it back on. Earlier on, when we were by the pentagram, I told the spirits to set off the EMF. And they took this command, literally, and switched the device off. Is it just me who feels like like watching you? Yeah. From behind a corner? Okay, so if there is anyone here, we're gonna make our way upstairs. If you're good, if you're a good, peaceful spirit, please follow us. If you are a negative spirit, stay back. Do not follow us, you do not have permission. 
So we're gonna make our way upstairs now, and this make, this goes towards the main building. So everyone, be careful. Everyone just step. So again, we're seeing more like more symbols. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people do come here just to like graffiti and stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of artwork and stuff. Is yeah. Okay. There's also the possibility of a deep past, especially from the fire that happened here. There's a lot of names on the wall, so perhaps there's a connection to one of them somewhere. There's a lot of graffiti about death. Yeah, people died. A lot of death and a lot of, uh, sort of demonic symbols. Yeah, I mean, nobody, uh, I'm not sure if anybody has documented anything, but. Which I think we're the first panel on the team to actually investigate this place. So, this, this is the bridge? Yeah, so this is the bridge over from the secondary building over to the um, main building. So, we are now in the main, in the main building. This is the, um, the weirdest bit we've experienced. So is it just me or is it really cold? What does it say on the temperature yeah, thing? 11, 7. 7? 11.7. Yeah, I feel like something's, I feel like something's behind us, like, in that archway. I feel like it's just like... It's just like checking us out, maybe, I don't know. So this is the bit where we heard footsteps the last time we were here. This is just... I feel like someone's watching us. It's just like a feeling, you know, like on the back of your neck. So this is where we were before. Yeah, but also... Because there's different sounds here, like um, dripping noises and stuff like that, but we're having really odd sounds that don't sort of fit in. So, I don't know. This room's really cold. Yeah. Like all the other, like all the other um, rooms have like the windows broken. It's the same sort of feeling we felt before, and this. All of a sudden, we hear a loud tapping noise in the distance. We cannot debunk this as being ourselves, as it is not captured on my camera, and it came from in front of Ivan. Um, and it's the same sort of feeling as we got before. And this, and this, and this. What yeah. was that? Did you see the white light? On the on the left pillar? No, no, it was like like I don't want to be too like um it is something, but it kinda of like an orb. But it might it could not be like whoa. That was so cool. Yeah. After exploring the main building, we make our way back down into the second building, where we saw the figure next to the column. This is the same place. Jamie just saw a figure down there. Um, and this is actually, weirdest thing is, is, this is exactly where Tom saw a figure right next to that pillar where the EMF went off. So we're now gonna head into the next room. As I was walking into the next room, I turned around. As I did so, I captured a black mass manifesting upwards and then appearing to run towards Ivan and Jamie. A couple of seconds after Tom captured the black mass, he said something that really didn't sound like him. Oh, I stayed in there way too long than I wanted to. Really? I stayed back for a couple of seconds just to get some, a backwards shot. Uh, well, I saw the figure at the, um, at the column, but I, upstairs in the main room, there's something like. I don't know if it followed us and it just got closer. But um, agreeing that this place is haunted because we've experienced some more stuff tonight and. Um, We've experienced stuff before, we don't know if it's bad or good, but we've experienced footsteps. Um, Tom experienced a hiss. Um, Who can you put it on camera? 
Yeah, we did EVP, we did EMF, and we had some weird temperature spikes. So, um, yeah. But this, day, this place is definitely strange, and it feels like someone's watching you, or like someone's behind you, and we heard a lot of footsteps, so, yeah. So we have just investigated the factory and we are so happy with the evidence we got. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.